Moms love their kids with all their hearts, but a mom's heart needs love too. And that's why Dr. Nina Esrani, a cardiologist with Consultants in Cardiology, a Texas Health Physicians group practice, joins us with heart healthy information that all moms should know. Good morning, welcome. Good morning. I was Thank impressed you. that you're a cardiologist, but now I found out you're also a mom of four, so you're a rock star in my book. <laughs> Thank you. All right, you're an advocate for women's heart issues. What do we do to love on our heart and also love on our moms for Mother's Day? Yeah, absolutely. So I think the most important thing to realize about heart disease is that a large part of it is preventable. Mm -hmm. So the American Heart Association estimates that 80%, that's four out of every five people with heart disease, it could be prevented if we just did a better job with very basic preventive <clears throat> things. And so that's the simple things like diet and exercise, mm -hmm. trying to eat better, be more active. Certainly for people who smoke, stopping smoking is probably the single most important thing you can do for your health. And then knowing your numbers. So that's knowing your blood pressure numbers, mm -hmm. cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, which is a marker for diabetes. And if those numbers aren't in the right range, is talking with your doctor to work on either diet and exercise or medicine if needed to get them to the right levels. Okay, so you take all those preventative steps, you do the best you can, but the second part of this is the signs and symptoms of heart disease are different in women sometimes than they are in men, and women may not necessarily know what to look for. That's absolutely right. And so when we talk about heart disease, the first thing that we talk about is chest pain. It's important for people to realize that when we say pain, a lot of times we mean things like pressure or tightness, not really pain. Um, but there are a lot of other symptoms that can be present as well. So a feeling that goes up into the neck or the jaw, the shoulders, down the arms, between the shoulder blades. Um, a lot of times women will just have really significant shortness of breath, nausea or indigestion. Those symptoms can be vague. And so one of the things mm -hmm. that we really look for is if you're having symptoms when you're active and exercising, and it tends to go away when you rest, that's really something that we would want you to review with your doctor. Interesting. Certainly, if you have chest pain that's not going away, then you need to see your doctor right away or call 911. Okay, let's talk about before you actually become a mom, pregnancy, the process of becoming a mom. Pregnancy itself can bring some heart-related concerns and can also sometimes indicate conditions that may happen in the future. Can you explain that? Yeah, that's right. So we tend to think about pregnancy, it's a very special time, but we kind of think of it by itself. And so we don't realize that some things that happen during pregnancy can be important for your health going forward beyond pregnancy. So women will often be diagnosed with things like gestational hypertension, which means high blood pressure, right. or preeclampsia. Those things obviously matter in the pregnancy, but they also mean later that those women are at a small but increased mm -hmm. risk of having high blood pressure and of future heart events. And so it's important that your doctor knows about those things beyond the pregnancy. So lots of boomers and younger than boomers are taking care of older women, family members, moms, aunts, whatever, things that we should look for with them. Yeah, so I think that the main thing is that just as our moms were advocates for us when we were younger, we want to be an advocate for mom as she gets older. Um, and so, you know, being involved with mom, being aware of how she's doing and how she's feeling. Um, but there are also certain symptoms that we want to look for. And so just as we were talking about the chest pain, the shortness of breath, those sorts of things, certainly if she's having symptoms like that, advocate for her getting to her doctor to talk about those. Um, another thing that we look for is leg swelling, and that can be caused for a lot of different reasons, some of which are not terribly concerning. But if you can press on your leg and leave a dent in it, that kind of swelling is concerning and needs to be looked at. Also, if mom seems more short of breath, especially when she's trying to sleep, that may be something worth pursuing as well. Some of the best stuff you can do for your mom on Mother's Day is to look after her. Thanks yeah, so much absolutely. for coming in. Thank and good you. luck with those four kids on Mother's Day. I Thank hope you, you get four really great presents. To learn more about ways to keep your heart healthy, 866-211-3163 or go to thpg.org slash women's heart for more information.